you could open up module three, unit one, lesson three. So what we're gonna look at is a Frere model today and we're gonna talk about the word resiliency. You're gonna work with your midway partner. Uh, if everyone could go ahead and open up the Frere model link. We've worked with the Frere model before. We're going to think, pair, share for the definition, characteristics, examples, and non-examples of the word resiliency. So if you could go ahead and spread out with your partner, what are some examples of being resilient either in the book or in life if you could go ahead and pair share that with your partner now? So characteristics that resilient pe a person have would have like courageous, they'd be brave, they they do what they want to do, what goes on in their mind. His brother kind of flips that on him and says, okay, now you're going to be resilient to do good things. So they're non-examples of resilience. Uh, probably somebody who does as they're told, they're not spontaneous. We can use Louie as an example. Yeah. And go by some of the characteristics that he has. Well, he is mischievous. Okay. Through the process of close reading, we can draw their attention to vocabulary that is foreign to them, showing them, using context clues, you can figure the word out based on information that's in that small section of text. So the definition to resilient, what do you think? Like bounce back? A bounce back or a change for like the better. A change for the better. Okay. So what Mr. Lyons and I would like to refocus you on now is talking with the class about the definition that you just discussed with your pair. So if I could get a typer, and that's fine, Katie, why don't you be the typer? And then can I get someone else to facilitate the discussion on the box with the class? Okay, Zoe, why don't you facilitate the class discussion? I'll step back out of your way. For the definition, I had that resilience is being able to spring back quickly. Did anybody have anything else to add to that? I mean, coming back from everything, even though like he gets in trouble a lot and stuff, he just kind of comes back. I had that resilience is that a quality that allows someone to be knocked down by life and come back stronger than ever. Molly, like it said on one of the pages, they always had police on their front doorstep. They, he kept getting in trouble for everything he was doing, but he just kept doing it. Katie, he was really resilient when um, he got caught for what he was doing, and then he kind of got right back up, and he was like, oh, this is not going to bother me anymore. I got in trouble, so what? Let's do it again. So with your partner, what I'd like you to prepare to do is, if you participated mostly in the discussion and your partner did not participate as much, prep your partner to be the person to represent your pair in the discussion and the characteristics box. Having a temptation of not following the rules. We strategically pair students together based on their abilities. Some students are lacking in certain skills, other students are stronger with certain skills. By putting those students together, our hope is that they will balance each other out with their individual skill sets. So, um, I feel like you always have to have somebody that also puts you down to get back up. Because if you didn't have anybody putting you down, you want to have a reason to get back up and keep being resilient. You wouldn't really be resilient if... You didn't have your own opinion and cared about your own opinion. Yeah, and if everybody else thought that what you were doing was the right thing and didn't knock you down. Let's brainstorm, see if we can think of some real life examples. Okay, and again, remember to speak slowly so Dakota has a chance to type everything in. In To Kill a Mockingbird, Atticus Finch knew that he was going to lose defending um, Tom Robinson, but he tried anyway. So connecting it with a previous unit, that's excellent. Molly? If you didn't have like a good childhood or anything and if you wanted to change you could be resilient and just kind of work towards getting a better life and stuff. Great, excellent example. Okay, so let's think, pair, share some non-examples. Um, a non-example would be somebody who's always down on themselves. Maybe if you got a bad grade or something you would sit there and say, um, oh darn it, it's a bad grade, why try anyway? Mm -hmm and um, it would bother you Go for a while. Go ahead and, and start to tie up your conversation and begin to share your document with me. And I can pull it up. So for definition, uh, class, what they have is springing back and rebounding. And then for characteristic examples, rebellious, carefree, incapable of being repressed and uncontrolled. Do we leave that? Would you give advice to your classmate to make any changes here? So go ahead and talk with your partner about that quickly. Everything that we 
their definition is a bit short, but it kind of gets right to the point. They forgot, like, being depressed after a traumatic event. Like, if you're resilient, that means you wouldn't be depressed. Yeah, it, it doesn't really say that he tried to bounce back, he tried to get better. Molly, since you shared it with us, why don't you call on your classmates to give you the feedback of, about any changes they might make? Zoe, um, it's not really about being controlled or not being controlled. It's about how you react to the situations. So is there still something that we can add to that? Remember, we, we need to be thinking about the word resilient. What did he do when he got caught? Did he, what did he do? Did he get right back up or did he actually listen to it? All right, show of hands real quickly. Uh, how comfortable do we feel with, uh, from one to five? Show of hands, how comfortable do we feel with the, the Frere model and the idea of re resilience? Thank you. Okay, so if we could just transition.